Hey everyone, it is Monday. No, it is Tuesday, April 18th, and we are just getting back from spring break. I did not have time to vlog this morning. Honestly, I forgot my little gorilla tripod, so I just didn't feel like vlogging at all. <laughs> Today, my kids weren't that bad. They were very chatty. We had to go over expectations a few times, but honestly, by this point, I'm in just survival mode. I have 29 students. We have two weeks until park ELA. We have a week off um, where we're not testing for park, and then we test for math park after that. And then I'm very thankful we have things to do every Friday in May, so that'll make May go by that much quicker. However, again, I am just in survival mode. I had to talk with my team today about what we were doing for our future career projects, which is the big project in fifth grade that our students complete, which you'll probably see a lot of in the next few vlogs. We did a really great measurement activity that I will show you how to do tomorrow in math today. But just like talking to my team about what we're teaching in the next few weeks. We've taught all of our standards, so we have to go back and look at which standards we need to review before park. And we did a really great seven week park review, flex grouping, and that's over. So the next few weeks are kind of just up in the air with whatever our students need work on. And I just wanted to talk with my team today about what they're doing and how I can help my students. So we came up with a really great system where our reading groups are going to be based on student needs and our math groups are going to be completed in stations. Right now I'm just waiting in the car till I have to go in and change at my trainer's house and then I am going to a body jam class at six o'clock and maybe my boyfriend and I will go see a movie. I'm not really sure but we'll see. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll show you what my students are working on for the week. Bye. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday, April 18th, and I'm just not having a very good day. I'm going to go and have pizza and beer with my boyfriend, vent to him about a few things, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It's just been one of those days. Hey everyone, it is Thursday, April 20th. I know I said yesterday was Wednesday, April 18th, but yesterday was a hump day. It was not a very good day for me. I came in yesterday morning wanting to show you guys what I was gonna be doing, and I knew that I had said earlier that I was going to show you what I was doing on Tuesday, and it just didn't work out the way it did. And sometimes that happens in teaching. So if you are new into teaching, just know that not every day is gonna go as planned. And you have to just take the evening to gather yourself and know that it's okay. Life will go on and the things that happen during your school day, you just have to reflect on them and keep going. In fifth grade at the elementary level, we still give letter grades. Parents and teachers, how do you feel about giving students grades at the elementary level? Because some days I'm okay with it because I think it's traditional and some days I'm not because I still have parents who don't want their child to get B's. And as soon as we get standard-based report cards, that's gonna change when a student gets threes and twos because they are still developing or they've not met a standard. They are going, we are going to have parents that will ask, why hasn't any child mastered a standard? And that's because these standards are end goals. They are year end goals. They are not something where a child will probably get at the third marking period even. they It may take them until the fourth marking period. Hey everyone, it is Thursday, April 27th, and I know that I have been missing. I apologize for that. We had spring break about two weeks ago and I just wanted a time to relax. I had a few videos that I put up during that time, but there just wasn't enough for me to film. The week after spring break was pretty tough for me as well. It was just one of those weeks and I just wanna to apologize to you guys. Those of you that have been tuning in each week, thank you so much. I have just been so excited to see my channel grow and although it's growing fairly slowly, 
Um, it's just, this is fun. I'm doing it for fun. So what I thought I would do for you guys is show you a before and after. We have a professional day tomorrow. I thought that I would give you guys a quick before and after tour of my classroom. So I'm going to just show you what my classroom looks like on um, day one, 51 on Thursday, April 27th, and show you what it looks like at the end of the day and just show you like the true reality of teaching. So this is my entryway. As you can see, I have a random stool already sitting there. This is our um, independent reading books. And as you can see, they are a hot mess. We teach the independent reading level assignment, short for Erla. I have all of my closets. I have a floor table, that's my overhead where I keep my keyboard and mouse, and then this is our breakfast cart, and here I have some extra stools, and as you can see, that one has chocolate milk spilled on it. This is the top of my cabinet. It's always looking a hot mess, but I'm just gonna go around the room. This is my tour. I purchased these stools at Ikea for $4.99, best investment, however, they do keep breaking, so sometimes I have to take them home and have my dad put screws in to hold them down. Some students prefer chairs, which is fine. This area looks pretty clean. My document camera, my smart board, anchor charts on the wall, and here's where we get to it looking a smart, a hot mess. I was gonna say a smart mess. <laughs> I guess if it's a smart mess, we're in school. So I do have a floor table where I have four students sit on the floor. They like it, I rotate. This is my bookshelf, I forgot what it was called. As you can see, the top shelf's a hot mess. Anchor charts, I have my bookshelf that I got from Donors Choose. Currently, it's holding clipboards. It does sometimes hold um, books that we are studying. I have all of my whiteboard handles. I had to close my treasure chest. These are our math manipulatives. Um, these kind of look like a hot mess, but actually, they're pretty organized to me. I know the class words. My students use uh, this game during course. So I know that that looks a little hot mess. Okay, so all of these textbooks, this is why my week was a rough week last week. I ended up bring, having to bring out the textbooks and that's what this stack is actually my team teacher next door. He had to let me borrow them because I didn't have enough for my students. I have two staplers that I let my students use. This is our decimal chart that um, I actually like, I planned a lesson and I never did it. That always happens to me. So my computers actually look pretty decent because we never use them. I have 29 students and only three computers. I currently have a student that sits at this table because I don't have enough desks. We have our MacBook Airs because we are doing a pretty big research project. I love my hockey stools. I got those from Donors Choose. And then as you can see, I have one student that has to sit on one of the hockey stools. Love it, best change for him. Um, and I have a table and my students have their bins and the bins look a hot mess. This student was absent yesterday, so they have papers on their desk. And you can see that some of them are choosing to sit in stools. Some of them are choosing to sit in stairs. I have this student who um, likes to wiggle. So she has one of those um, wiggle cushions. I really don't know what they're called. And then I have, um, these bins right here are really great because our desks have holes in them, as you can see. So my second year of teaching, I discovered Donors Choose, and that was my very first Donors Choose, was asking for those bins. So my kidney table looks um, pretty normal for um, a morning before school. They're doing a career research project, so this is their outline. We're studying rotation and revolution, so these are their notes. My MacBook Airs for their research. I have all of my Erla materials in here. These are geometry um, papers that I ended up not using. I actually need to throw them out. Um, I need to go through these because I may, we have to take park next week, so I have to do some review. Um, this is a cot that I ended up buying from a teacher friend. I wanted to stick it in my classroom, um, probably not this year, but hopefully in the future. And then this is where I store all of my materials. As you can see, it's a little bit of a hot mess. And these are just park review items. I have some of my um, teacher manuals. I have my calendar numbers, because my calendar is right here. And this is probably my favorite piece of my classroom. I forget where I bought these from, uh, definitely off of Teachers Pay Teachers, and I can tag it in the description bar below. But I love that it's the alphabet and it's based on content that we learn in fifth grade. Okay, this is where I'm embarrassed to show you, however, 
I'm this is the point of the video is a classroom tour so this is like my teacher shelf I don't really use it too much um, I have Diet Coke that someone gave me randomly which I thought it was so sweet of them I still to this day don't know who gave me the Diet Coke I found it in my teacher mailbox if you are a new teacher you need to get an expert that was the best invention ever and the best purchase that I could have had we play it all the time Jeopardy um, or just like they have like the eggs here can show you you there's like several different ways that you can play this but I'm a huge fan expert well done um, it's kind of cheaply made it's like but it's it's perfect I have my laminator because I was laminating stuff I have some assessments that I need to go through these are all of like my teacher novels that I read throughout the year this is my filing cabinet um, this is my hot teacher mess of a I don't know filing system and then I got this new 31 bin to hold my Tuesday folders in. But yeah, that's not happening this year. It's too nice. And my kids are too crazy. Um, again, just white paper, uh, plastic sleeves. All my teacher manuals are down there. And then I have my printer. And then you come to my desk. My desk is actually kind of clean. I try to keep my desk clean because um, that's actually like one thing that our admin like sees they're not worried about our desk being dirty um but i like staying organized and my best friend katie gave me these for my birthday so i hide them in here because i don't want anybody to take them but they're little woofy boots woofy butts dog butts is what i said if you don't know so that is my classroom before i will be sure to show you what my classroom looks like at the end of the day not that there's much of a difference but i do want to point some things out that my students do and i want to just find out if your students do them too by the way tremino love this stuff <laughs> I'm free advertisement tremino i love it however do you see the plastic is not around the bottom and it's more around the lid I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. So I have to sit here and take scissors to the plastic. So I'll see you guys at the end of the day. Bye.